Joining me this morning on the Agribusiness Desk is Bob Utterback of Utterback Marketing. Livestock producers are in a pretty tight spot right now. What do, what do you suggest to them, or how do you yeah. how do they play this market that we're in today? Well, unfortunately, the this is a lesson to be learned: is that when you get corn at cost of production, you need to basically protect yourself against those weather set. And I think for the next every year, you're going to have a risk of a summer weather event. And if you're ever to dive of inflation, you got to strive to yourself. I don't want to get caught in this pickle again. So learn from this. That's the first thing: sure. protect yourself against summer weather scare events. Secondly. I think you really need to get control of the cash inventory. You've got to work real hard. Even if you're using the futures, you still have you got basis exposure. I would want fiscal control. Even if I had to buy wheat, I need to get fiscal control of it. And the third thing is, I would not be actively hedging. I think you, you know the question we're going to be. Uh, we, I think it's going to be affect poultry first, turkey second, then hogs, then cattle. In reference to the ease of liquidation sure. and easy getting back in. But once the cattle and, and feeder ca and cow calf get out and the dairy cattle get out, it's a some people say three to five year period at the earliest they can come back into the equation. Right, absolutely. So the hard question is, do you liquidate the cattle, mm. and, or do you st stick it out and 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 survive it? And I would say I would try everything I could to hold on my cow calf if I could, if I was in, in the Midwest. If I could hold on my cows, I would tell you I think they're going to be pretty good de deer assets. Same with hogs. So that means you've got to look at alternative feed sources or possibly curtailing your herd size as tight as possible to get your, to only keep your best cows, get over your, get over your inefficient animals. But don't try to completely in, in, and think you're going to get out of the operation and get back in mm -hmm. in a year get and a half. Get back in, it sure. Just, it just, I don't think it, banks will let you do it very easily. And I don't think this is a time period to be actively hedging. I think this is a time where, especially Nick's, February, from about April on out, you really pretty much can say the upside is your, your, is your golden apple. And when the liquidation inventory finally hits and the inventory numbers really contract and we start seeing poor conception rates because of the hot weather on hogs, mm -hmm. I think hog markets and cattle markets will make all-time record highs in the third and fourth quarter next year. Is That's when the consumers are starting to scream. Right. And that's where we have to watch it. But uh, how far can we push consumer demand before they say, I'm not going to buy it, will be the question we'll be answering next spring. All right, lots to watch. Thanks, Bob. And we'll be back with more Ag Day right after this. To talk with Bob one-on-one, -on -one, call Utterback Marketing Services, toll-free at 800-832-1488.